the world of comics, like how I got my big break, was, I'm going to say this, um, I have yet to put on Facebook or anywhere my rest in peace, Lynn Wing. Lynn Wing uh, helped change my life. Um, you know, he, when I first started working and doing House of Mystery and all this other stuff, he walked into the office while I was uh, talking to, um, uh, it was Dick Giordano and Dan something. He no longer works at DC, but this was a great guy. And he was a, a co-editor or something. And I was helping, doing the work, and he said, I need somebody to help me with this. And uh, I looked at your work, Paris, and I think you can do this. Uh, this guy, I'm not gonna say his name, because he got nothing to do with nothing. He, did, he failed, he didn't, he said some other <laughs> extreme words about him, but he failed me, and he lied to me, and he left me with most of a book done that's a month late, and I need this book done. And I said, sure, I guess. <laughs> he says, well, what, uh, wh when do you need it? Tomorrow. Wow. You knew this, to it's a, I need 18 pages. Tomorrow. I don't care what they look like. Just bring me 18 pages tomorrow. You bring me 18 pages and I will be, he said a very specific word that I'm not going to say, for you for the rest of your life. Be, do it. Be the man. I walked out the building drawing on paper, standing, walking, drawing. <laughs> I got home and standing, walking. I'm drawing on the paper, on my desk, and my wife is making entreaties to me, trying to get under the desk. And like, get off! <laughs> Let me sit tomorrow! And uh, I did it on the train back. I got there, and uh, I came in like uh, 12 or something, and I was still doing it. By the time 7 o'clock got there, I w he came in because he said, it's got, all got to go. And he got, uh, he had 18 pages. And he, from that moment on, if something went wrong, you know, and, and everything went wrong. And when I was having a problem with the, with the missus, I moved to New York and there was these problems. And uh, he, he, I lied to him. I said I had the work done and so on and whatnot. And he, I didn't show up. I would just turn punk and didn't show up. And mm. he showed up at my house. <laughs> he, just, he said, Paris. He hit the door. I was afraid to open the door, but I opened the door. He was fast. It's not a lie I haven't told. <laughs> there isn't a thing that I haven't done in the wrong in this business. There's nothing I've done that you could possibly do to catch up to my wrongs. Wow. But let me tell you something. It'll all be all right whenever you answer the door. You answer that door, you but not you call me and tell me what's wrong, I will find a way to fix it because I'm going to find a way to fix it for you. Not for me, but for you because you did what I wanted to do. What I needed, I'm going to do what you need. And he always did it. And he always, in effect, I knew I wasn't the only one. Mm -hmm. That was his style. You know, that was his style. His style was just to make it, find a way to make it work. When I, they, uh, the world went wrong, all the world went right, the crisis, the DC made the crisis on yeah. Infinite Earths, and that was in one little panel. Blue Beetle showing up, stopping Chemstro from destroying the Statue of Liberty. Comic Book World went berserk. Letters just came pouring in that they need a blue, and Dick J.D. comes running the office, we need a Blue Beetle comic, we want it right now. <laughs> Lynn, get on it, I don't care what else you don't, just get on it. And he calls me up and he says, well, we're gonna make a Blue Beetle comic. You with me? And I said, sure. And he told me, I'll give you three pages. He said, over the phone, three pages. I need those three pages. As soon as you get them, give them to me tomorrow. I got another three pages. And he just spoke them. We didn't, he didn't write the script until later. He just spoke them over the phone and we, He's going, we're going to do this the Marvel way. We're going to the old school. <laughs> Just <laughs> and we got the first issue done in two weeks and a half. Wow. You know, well, what's his name? Of course, with Bruce, uh, Bruce Patterson. <laughs> Bruce Patterson, you know, the, 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 the workhorse, you know, of the business. He made everything look perfect and the same. Of course, I turned in a wonky mess in the first two issues. But he made it all look perfect. Um, and it was running until Legends and all this other kind of stuff was in the middle. But it doesn't really matter. Then I really learned how to do comics. I was turning in on time so much that I didn't even know what I was turning. I didn't even know what I was getting a check for because I was doing Blue Beetle, doing Infinite, uh, doing those uh, What If comic covers, doing uh, backups for books and stuff like that, and the books that was for toys like Captain Power and, and He-Man and all this other kind of crap. There was just always something to do, and then I started doing style guides for people and whatnot. So it was, uh, it is different.
It's not the same. The world isn't the same. And the world isn't the same because there's no Lynn Wayne in it. And that's what I truly believe.